Question 6. Sales a price of the house and a down payment. Down payment means how much you need to pay for a house before you pay a full payment. Mr. Wong buy the house and he pay his down payment with his saving and pay for the remainder with a mortgage. Mortgage means a loan. All right. How much money does the Mr. Wong need to borrow? So let's say 380,000 down payment is 10%. So the down payment will be 38,000 by using calculator. So the money that you need to borrow is 380,000 minus 38,000. You will get RM342,000. So RM342,000 is the money that you need to borrow. All right. This is for one. For question A2, so as we know that the interest here is not simple interest, we know it's a compound interest. So let's calculate the first month interest first. It is very hard, so you have to do it slowly. Now, let's look at the first month interest. It will be 342,000 times 3.8% and it's only one month, so divide 12. All right, you will get 1083. So the first month interest is 1083 and then what we need to do is to use 342000 this is the first month now we are required to calculate the second month so how to calculate the second month we use the 342000 plus 1083 which is the interest you will get 343083 and then we have paid the monthly installment so we use 3438083 minus the installment. This is the leftover we need to pay, which is 341489.43. All right. Now we are required to calculate the second month interest. So we use 341489.43 times 38% times, sorry, 3.8% times 1 over 12, which is also 1 month, and you will get 1083.38. So this is for second month. So for first two months, it will be 1083 plus 1083.38, and you will get the answer of RM2164.38 ringgit. For B question, table 6.2 shows an incomplete table. So what you need to do is to complete this table. So the midpoint is usually used the lowest part, which is 6, plus the highest part, 10, divide 2. So 6 plus 10 divide 2, you will get 8. Okay, so if you can see, it is a sequence, plus 5. So 8 plus 5, you get 13, plus 5 again, you get 18, plus 5 again, you get 23. So how to calculate fx? It means f times x. So 4 times 3, you get 12. 14 times 8, by using calculator, you'll get 112. 21 times 13, by using calculator, you will get 273. 8 times 18, you will get 144. And 3 times 23, you will get 69. So you have completed the table. 4 marks. Now, calculate the mean. How to calculate the mean? Basically, you add up all the fx. Okay, all of x, dy, all f. All right. So all the f x, if add up, you will get six hundred and ten, and all the f, if add up, you will get fifty. So six hundred and ten divide fifty, and you will get twelve point two, and in this case, it's mm, so it will be mm. So this is mean and one mark. So that's all for this set. Thank you.